Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, some views about the user controller as well as the student controllers. So you know that in the last video tutorial I have seen uh, index.cshtml uh, of the users controller. So just uh, generate a new uh, view for the create action method uh, in the user controllers. So you can see that <coughs> it's a scaffolding totally and you can do uh, easily uh, to uh, create a cshtml page by using scaffolding so there is unnecessary fields in uh, uh, create.cshtml file in the user section also we have some fields is unnecessary like the id and the uh, id and names uh, if you want to add the names as well as if you want to add role and total uh, so name is required but id is not required at here in the create section a role and the total count is also uh, not required in the cshtml page so only name username and the password is uh, needed in that page so that is the create.cshtml page uh, for the uh, users controller so now that save it and the next controller is the student controller and you know that the first thing is the index page so you can also apply the scaffolding for, for the index page but you, you notice that uh, the page result actually work on it. So uh, view name is index, template is uh, list and the model is the student view model. But you notice that uh, scaffold generate innumerable uh, types, uh, it's not generated the page result and uh, we have some uh, code already in the notepad file. So you can notice that the page number and the page size is related to the page result. So just uh, remove that innumerable file with the uh, replace with the page result. So that is the page result. Okay. And the page result uh, have some uh, fields that is not available in the students view model that is not related to the student view model. And uh, page result is uh, contain a model dot data in which we have a list of uh, students is there and just copy that code and understand uh, later uh, after just few seconds. Uh, so just replace it, uh, replace that code uh, with the existing one. So just um, select it and paste with the, uh, that code. Okay. So in the H1 tag is the students is there and ASP action is create and create hyperlink is there and the single table we have a name username and the contact three fields and you can say there are three cells and uh, in the third cells you can notice that uh, one hyperlink controls ASP action uh, is their result and ASP controller is a student and in the student view model we have some fields related to the id student name and uh, name username and the fields okay so uh, the hyperlink field is related to the result so we have a result with the student id is there you can notice that and for the paging purpose you can uh, see that result action method we have a student id and you notice that asp all route data is holding the student id with the item dot id okay uh, that is already discussed in the previous videos uh, for the pagings. Uh, okay, so again you have to check it. Create uh, ASP controller is student, and uh, oops, uh, that is the table uh, with the bootstrap name, username, contact, and uh, ASP controller is student. ASP all route data is the dictionary object with the student id item dot id in which you can pass and here we have a paging so cs pager is used at here model dot page size page number total items page number also the uh, jquery grid is uh, also applied at here you can uh, you can see in the last section of uh, the index.cshtml file where the jquery grid is applied and uh, just to scroll that okay so uh, the most important thing behind the scene uh, in the video that is the paging and the data grid okay 
and the similar code uh, for applied for the users uh, teachers as well as the students as well as uh, number of results uh, so page result is applied uh, on your action method okay so the second action method is related to the create so student view model is also selected at here and updated dependency uh, information uh, in the scaffolding so building project okay so uh, you notice that uh, the student view model uh, in the create section is similar but id is not required at here name username and password is required but uh, contact cv file name picture file name total count is not required in the uh, student view mode uh, in the project in this project online examination system so just remove that uh, removed it from here okay student view model also removed <coughs> okay the create section is clear and index section is clear now just after uh, you can use a profile uh, and profile is also inherited from or you can say implemented from the student view model so profile and and create student view model and you can also apply the uh, uh, scaffolding but here some change the data like that student view model and there is the profile code just copy that and paste from here profile and paste it that uh, let's understand that code asp action uh, that is profile and method is the post enc type i mean to say that image file is uploaded uh, in the HTML form so image is there and uh, SRC that is model dot picture file name okay so ASP4 is picture file uh, that is clear now the name username contact that is the field which is uh, used in the tag helper and uh, the next one is the model dot CV file name that is already uploaded if it is not equals to null I mean to say that if a CV file name is not equals to null then uploaded or you can say downloaded so just model.cv file name and asp4 is the validation that is applied on the cv file and after that you uh, you have to submit that uh, cv file with the respective data like the name username contact and the model picture file name okay now after that you can notice that a model.picture file name picture file name is related to the uh, users uh, picture and CV I mean to say that document file okay that profile is clear now after that you, you can see the attend exam so the view name is attend exam and template is create and the model class is attend exam view model okay so here we have attend exam view model and the similar code is uh, already there in a, a notepad file so just replace it with the code so here i uh, so uh, here you can see that model dot exam name that is the name of the exam model dot message is not equals to empty then form is uh, loaded with the post data uh, ASP controller student and the question is there question answer dot count um, for loop is there and two hidden field is there that is the ID and the exams ID is there and the one label control where the question is there like the model dot question of I dot question the first question second question is third question and also the selected answer um, from the drop down list so the first option, second option, third, third option and the fourth options. Thank you very much for watching.